Hey, this is Dan and you're watching Green Machine Outdoors. We've got a solution today for a problem that I'm sure a lot of people experience. If you're like us, you've got to store your boat outdoors. Hopefully you have a cover for it. And sometimes those covers, they can get a little water trapped on them. Stay tuned so we can show you a cheap, easy, and fast solution so you don't have to worry about this problem ever again. When it comes to storing your boat outside, there's nothing more annoying than having water trapped on the tarp. It puts pressure on the tarp, it can make it rip in areas around the windshields and things like that. So what you want to do is come up with a system that can prevent the water from ever getting there. We're going to show you the materials you need for today's build and I'm telling you this is easy. We whip this thing together in about 20 minutes. You're going to need to start with two T's. Here's where you have an option, you can either go with 290 degrees or you can go with 445 degrees and I'll talk about the difference in a minute. Four pieces cut down to about 10 inches or so for your legs. And you're gonna want about a 10 foot section of PVC pipe cut up into the lengths that you need. I can't give you exact dimensions here. You're gonna have to use whatever works for your specific boat and your cover and whatever your scenario is. For me, I just eyeballed it. Okay, those are the materials that I used in my build. However, yours might be slightly different. What you wanna do is figure out where your cover is sagging so you can figure out which parts need support. In my specific scenario, I've got some issues in the bow of the boat. And while it's not showing right now because I have the trailer jacked up so high, I've got some issues right here where water typically pools as well. So I'm gonna make two tents to make sure that I don't have water pooling there anymore and this is no longer an issue that I have to worry about every time it rains. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take you through the build. Let's start with those T's down at the bottom for your feet. And we're gonna go ahead and take those 10 inch sections and insert those so we can make our feet to help this stand up straight without tipping over. Two feet, real quick. From our feet, we're gonna go to our vertical upright supports here. I've got my two cut right there. I'm gonna insert those and get them seated. Okay, from there, you're either gonna to wanna to take your 445s and connect them with long or short pieces, or go to your two 90 degree sections. On the front of my boat, I did 245s in pretty close distance here. That kind of makes a, a softer corner for the tarp. In the back of the boat, I actually put about a 10 inch piece between these, so it's an even softer, rounder piece there. Just take those, throw them up top. You're gonna wanna go perpendicular to your feet the way they're laying right now. And now all that's left to do is run the cross member across the top. Cut that to size, eyeball it based on your boat. And there you go, you've got yourself a finished product. This is for the front of my boat, like I was saying, for my back of my boat I'm a little bit wider and a little bit taller. This one sits up on the casting deck, the other one sits down on the floor, so I've got a, a need for a little bit additional height and width because it goes all the way out to the edges of the boat. Alright, now all that's left to do is to take these two bad boys, toss them under the cover, strap it down, and I'm never going to have to worry about taking water off the boat cover again when I'm not using the boat. It does take a little bit longer to set things up when you're done fishing for the day and put the cover on but well worth it to not have to run out here after every single time it rains and clear water off the tarp. So there's the bow. There's the stern. Strap the cover down and you're good to go. All right, and here's what the final product looks like. You can tell we've got really high peaks. No water is gonna sit on that cover and we're not gonna have to worry about draining water off this cover ever again. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, adapt it to your boat and your situation. Make the measurements that you need or just cut it by eye and you'll be good to go. This is Dan with Green Machine. We are out.